Alright guys, so this is the Pelican Catch 110 High Drive 2. I added some stuff to this kayak as you can see. The first thing you might notice, uh, besides the uh, cup holder, is I also added a little live well to it. So I got a live well, I got a cup holder, I got a bunch of paddle holders because I have a push pole and I will be able to stand now and put my paddle right down in front of me instead of having to put it to the side when I'm standing, which makes it very convenient for when I'm trying to just kind of stop really quick and not like anchor down or anything like that. Just so being able to stop and drop the kayak paddle really quick and then pick it right back up is super useful. And I'm excited to be able to do that now with these are gonna be lifesavers. So again, this is my little live well. You put the net in there and then you have two areas to put your rod down while you try to either dispatch your fish or dehook your fish and release it. So. This is nice. It's a good area to just kind of work on getting the fish taken care of. As you can see under the seat, I have this strap right here, which is attached to this line, which is attached to my bump board, which lays out perfectly like that in between, just a little bit on top of or a little behind the uh, cup holders that are built into this, which are, by the way, kind of useless. I also decided to go with this right here for my phone. My phone is in here, it's waterproof, so I could drop this in the water no problem. Not that I wanna do that. My phone's also waterproof, but just because it's waterproof doesn't mean I can get it back if I drop it in the water. So when I'm on the water, uh, I probably won't be very active on social media as I will be having it in here as a way to keep it from falling and losing it forever wouldn't be a good idea. And again, I have it attached to a lanyard, so I don't have to worry about losing it. Nothing different about the seat other than I had to replace the strap because the straps that come with this are atrocious. Onto the back here, I got the Yak Attack pole with the Yak Attack track, and that way I can record from the back and obviously from the chesty now. So those are the main things I did to this. This is like, for me, in my personal preferences, like the ultimate kayak. I also um, have a little hatch here. This is really just for if I have like any emergencies or if I wanna add lights. Um, I do plan on adding lights, so yeah, I'll be using this hatch quite a bit. It's very useful. Here I got the little cup holder. Seems like it's kinda of like a, a silly thing to add, but you know, if you kayak fish and snakehead fish a lot, you'll know that you're almost always switching out baits throughout the day. And instead of having to like open the tackle box 100 times, if you put like a couple baits in here that you want to use, you know, you'll have them either sitting along where you have a little hook keeper or you can just throw them in there and you can just take them out and switch them out and not have to keep opening up the tackle box a hundred times. Uh, it's kind of nice, it'll be really convenient, so I wanted to add this and I'll see how that goes. I do like this idea though. Um, I also put my little backup stringer in here, like my emergency stringer. If you guys saw in one of my older, or one of my newer videos, from I think the end of the fall, I, I actually uh, didn't bring a stringer one time and that was kind of painful because I was keeping snakehead that day. I don't always keep snakehead, but when I do, you know, you gotta have a stringer or something to keep them in. Uh, one thing I do plan on adding is actually a cooler that will attach to the back of this. Um, I also, by the way, I have my safety device, which is my whistle. <laughs> You're supposed to have one in Maryland. And I, I have it attached to the, the um, seat and I have it up in this little cubby here and it's out of the way. And uh, I'll really quickly, I'll put this net, for example, in here, I guess. Um, this isn't the best net for this because it's like a brand new one. I haven't used it yet. But yeah, the net sits in there and as you can see, it goes down pretty far. And yeah, then you're able to work with the fish while it's just kind of sitting there. 
Um, if I would recommend sitting the net like this so you can put the rod right here and you know, you're still got plenty of space. It's not too big. I mean, the net, the net hole here is pretty wide, which is very convenient. Um, I'm excited to use this. Look at this, guys. I think we found ourselves a, a new snakehead spot. We went scouting today. So the biggest thing about this is, if you look, we got a dam and it leads out into the water, to another main body of water. Oh yeah, plenty of water depth, even right now in the winter time. So we just got done and done scouting for the day. And yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video so far. Let's get to it.